I think for a lot of people, the biggest development in cybersecurity in recent years probably has been this law that passed toward the end of last year, this information sharing law. It's gotten criticism. It's gotten praise. What are you guys doing to implement the law? What are the most important things people here uh, should know about it and what you guys are doing to implement it? Absolutely. Well, first, let me be clear. Uh, if there's been any praise, it's been about our implementation of the law. <laughs> any criticism is, is about something else entirely. Uh, essentially, if you think about the real world, uh, if, you do, if you see a suspicious car driving around in your neighborhood, uh, you know, you want to call in, hey, there's a blue van that's been circling my neighborhood. They don't live here. They've been driving around for a while. There might be something suspicious about this blue van. Um, that's the equivalent of that in cyberspace is called a cyber threat indicator, an indicator. Uh, think about it as the, the address of a computer that's been seen doing bad activity. Think about it as, as the sending address of a phishing email, a phishing email that's trying to defraud you. Uh, if you see these things, it's, it's important to tell somebody about them, right? That's, that's the fundamental goal that the government has. Uh, if you see this malicious activity in cyberspace, tell the government about it, then let us tell other companies so that everybody can protect themselves against it. Now, one of the things that gets people confused is, Reporting that I saw a blue van driving around a neighborhood is different than saying I had a break-in. An indicator, I saw something suspicious, is different from an incident, something happened to me. So we're not asking companies to tell us when you've had break-ins. Companies are pretty nervous to do that, and I absolutely understand that. We're just saying, tell us if you see suspicious behavior in cyberspace, a computer that is reaching out to your computers an awful lot and has no business talking to your computers. The benefit of that is, right now, if you're a bad guy, if you're an attacker, I can start in this side of the room and I can just attack each and every one of you, and it's an amazing business model for me because I can just build one attack and just try all of you. I'm gonna succeed with some percentage of you. Uh, if, you could, if, if you as a business person could amortize your costs that well, uh, you would be sitting pretty happy, right? So right now we have this amazing business model for the bad guys. They create one attack, they attack the entire internet, they're sure to strike gold. Well, we wanna change it so that if they attack, the third person they attack, or the first person, sees something odd, reports it, and then we share it out to every company in the private sector, you defend yourselves, and suddenly the attack is worthless. That inverts that business model. It stops the bad guys from having uh, a great business. It makes it a lot harder for them. Now, is it a perfect protection? Absolutely not. The bad guys will change their behavior. They'll get rid of the blue van, van they'll drive a white van. They'll drive a new car every day. I mean, this is a game of cat and mouse. Uh, the bad guys and the good guys are always competing with each other, but this is a really key step to really change the business model of the bad guys. And unless we do that, they're gonna keep trying to break in and, and take your money. So I think this is a huge step forward. My organization has created essentially a server, a computer, that your organizations can set up a computer and receive our stream of threat data, our be on the lookout for this blue van data, and you can share what you see with us. And again, you're not telling us you had an incident. You see these indicators all the time without actually suffering a break-in. You're just saying, hey, I saw something suspicious on the internet today and passing it to me. That's, that's really what we want to have happen here. And we've made amazing progress. You can sign up today. You can get our stream of information today, and you can send us information today. And I encourage all of you to have your companies do that.